up? My name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. This week will be the last week of the six deep lateral hip rotators. Okay, which means I have gone over uh, this, this week, the six weeks, so it'll be all six I've gone over. Uh, so this week will be the arbitrator externus muscle. Okay, like every other video, I will go over the origin insertion followed by its function and finally provide you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle. I will also provide a picture of exactly where this muscle is, um, only because it's so deep I cannot actually pinpoint it out on my body. However, I can provide you a picture so you have a better understanding of where this muscle is. So to start off, I'm going to start off with the location so we know what we're talking about and then we'll move on from there. So the arbitrator externus muscle originates on the outer arbitrator membrane, okay, and the rim of the pubis and the ischium bordering that membrane. Okay, now to kind of give you a description, uh, everybody knows where their sits bone is or their butt bone, correct? It is back here, okay? Now you have your pubic bone, which is right here, okay, pretty much dead center of your whole pelvis here, pelvic uh, area, okay. So your sits bone connects to the pubic bone and kind of makes kind of like a circle, pretty much, okay. And that circle is actually called the arbitrator foramen, okay, so it's like a ring that it has in there. Okay, now within that ring, there's a membrane that's the arbitrator membrane. Okay, and then surrounding it is the pubis, which would be more in the front, and then the ischium, which is more in the back. Okay, so on the outside of that, so closer to your leg bone, would be where the arbitrator sternus originates. Okay, and then it inserts onto the trochanteric fossa which is pretty much a hollowed out area, so it's kind of like um, something grooved out an area in there on the medial side of the greater trochanter of the femur. Okay, now the greater trochanter is this bony part that's sticking out right here. So on the inside of that, closer to that uh, arbitrator foreman or that circle or that ring, okay, would be that trochanteric fossa. You would get, actually be able to feel it on the outside. It would actually be on the inner part of the femur. Okay. So once again, it originates on the arbitrator membrane, which is the circle or the ring part, and the pubis and the ischium surrounding it, the rim of that. Okay. And then inserts onto the trochanteric fossa of the greater trochanter of your femur. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture for you so you know what, exactly what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so now that you know exactly what I'm talking about and you have a pretty good idea of that, uh, now we can finally move on to functions, okay? Now the function of the arbitrator externus muscle is to obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, these are all lateral rotators of the hip, okay, which means it rotates that femur outwards, okay, and to exaggerate that, that is what lateral rotation is, okay, your leg is pretty much moving from the inside out, okay, and it also assists with adduction of your leg or the femur, okay. Now adduction again is adding to the midline, you're adding uh, more to your body. Okay, abduction would just be the opposite. So again, it assists with adduction. Okay, it also helps with keeping that femur attached into the socket where it belongs. So into that bone socket joint, it helps stabilize your femur into that joint. Okay. So now that we know that functions are to lateral rotate the hip, to also assist with adduction, and then to also stabilize your femur into the ball and socket joint in which it lies, okay, we can move on to the exercise, um, which is the exact same exercise um, I would use.
for the previous five lateral rotators, okay? So, with that exercise, I'm going to go ahead and insert the video that I have inserted in the last five videos here for you so you know what that exercise looks like. So thank you all for sticking around and watching the last six videos. I know that the uh, exercise video can probably get pretty repetitive. So please hit the like button if you have stuck around for all six videos. Hit the like button if you have seen the exercise video over the past six weeks over and over. Uh, also hit the like button if you like the muscle function video series. Pass on with a share. Uh, mention it to somebody that may benefit from it. Um, share the knowledge. So I hope everybody has a great week and I will see you guys again next week.